so that they don't know that. Why might we, why might we learn the lesson and one might hope that we learn because we got far more information and history and archaeology, we got far more powerful social sciences. But they actually are amidst all the depressing trends, some trends that make me hopeful. And among those trends that make me hopeful are the policies of some of the forces in the first world society most hated by the general public, mainly big businesses. About a month ago, I was astonished. I've dealt with Walmart the last year um, and learned a lot about Walmart. Um, Walmart is one of those subjects that, it's one of the few subjects that my wife and I cannot discuss commonly because of my use of Walmart for sympathetic to my wives. But about a month ago, I was surprised to read in the newspaper that Walmart had announced that over the next about four years, they're going to phase out all their purchases of non sustainable managed fisheries and they're going to convert all their seafood purchases to sustainable managed fisheries. Now, I've been interested in the efforts of the Redistribution Council for the last decade to switch fish purchases to sustainable managed fisheries, and I've been aware of efforts to convince governments to do something about it. But there is no more potent force that I could imagine for us same fishery practices than a decision on the part of Walmart to stop buying from the bad fisheries and to start buying from the good fisheries. 